This video will teach you how to do the basic formatting for an APA style document with OpenOffice 4.0.1. You'll create a template with a title page and a running head. The first thing to do is to open the program and choose text document. So double click on your icon, choose text document, and there you have a blank page. The first thing you want to do is to set the font for Times New Roman 12. In this particular case, that is what is already set, Times New Roman, the font name, and the size of 12. If it were not, you would just click on the little arrow, choose Times New Roman, and the same thing for the size, and choose size 12. The next thing you want to do is make sure that the margins are set at one inch all around. In order to do that, you click on Format, choose Page. Make sure you're in the Page tab and the format is letter, that is the size of the paper, 8.5 by 11, it's portrait, and here are the margins. You'll see that here they are set at decimal 79 inches. You want each one to be one inch, so you double click here to highlight and just press one. Same thing here, double click to highlight, press one. Double click to highlight, press one, and double click to highlight and press one. After you've done that, just click OK. You now have one inch margins all around as is required by APA style. Then you have to set the spacing to double space. In order to do that, you would go to format again, paragraph. Make sure that you're in the tab indent and spacing and that in indent you have zero, zero and zero in the before text, after text and first line. Spacing above and below paragraph should also be zeros. Line spacing is what you're looking for. Uh, probably have single by default. Click on the arrow to the right and choose double and then click OK. Now you'll set up the running head for the document. In OpenOffice, you will use page tiles to set up the running head. You can get to the style window three ways. By clicking this icon here, to the right of the screen, by choosing Format, and then styles and formatting or by pressing the F11 key. Each one of these will open up the styles and formatting window you see here on the right. There are different buttons for the different types of styles. One for paragraph, one for character style, one for frame style, one for page styles, and one for list styles. You will use the page styles, so click on that one and the default styles will appear in the window. You have a number of styles already created in OpenOffice. The first one is the default style and that's the one you'll use to create two new styles. APA running head subsequent page style and the APA running head first page style. We'll create those by using the default style as a start. So right click on the default and choose a new. That opens up this window. The name, you will name the style and name it APA running head subsequent style or subsequent page. And in the next style, this is where you choose which style will come after that page. 
the, the subsequent page, the page after this one, and you will want to have subsequent page style again. So choose that one. Then you go to the header tab and make sure it is activated by putting a check mark, by clicking it to put a check mark on it to make sure it's activated. And then you click OK. So now you've created the APA running head subsequent page. Now you can use that one or use default again for the other style you will create. So default, right click, new. You will call this one now APA running head first page style. And the style of page that will come after that first page will be the APA running head subsequent page style that you have just created a minute ago. So now you have the name of the new style you're creating and the name of the style that will come next. Go to your header tab, click on it, make sure your header is on, and then click OK. You now see in the page styles the two styles you've just created, APA running head first page and APA running head subsequent page. So now you can close that down, go back to your document, and create your title page. Your title page right now does not have a running head, but we're going to fix that. You will choose for this first page the style, one of the styles you just created, by clicking on the arrow here. Notice that the, st that style is not listed there. Just click on More. And then you will have to choose the page style. And now choose the APA running head first page. And you now have a header on that first page. And this is where you will write in running head with a colon followed by the title of your document in all caps. Remember that remember that this heading cannot exceed 50 characters including spaces. I did not count how many characters I have there but uh, if it exceeds 50, it should not. So shorten your title to make sure it does not have more than 50 characters. And, but you have to have the words running head followed by a colon on the first page. And what you also need is the page number. You notice that on the, on the ruler, there are already two tabs that have been created for the running head. One in the middle and one on the right hand side. This right hand tab is a is a right tab. That's what you want. You want a right tab but you want it at the very end of the line. So you would move your arrow to touch the tab, left click, hold your mouse button down and move that tab right to the edge. It should be right there. And let go and your tab is now in the right space. You can remove this uh, style and formatting uh, uh, window. So now your cursor is here. You would just tab once to get to the edge to insert your page number. Now let's say your short title would have ended here. In that case, by tabbing once, it would have taken you to the middle tab and you would have to tab again to get to the to get to the right hand side. Uh, 
I had uh, pushed my cursor a bit too far because when I tabbed twice it it created another line. You don't want that. You want your cursor to be as far to the right as you can without it creating another line. So now that you have your cursor at the right spot, you would insert the page number. Insert, fields, page number. So now you have your first page number, you have your first page. Now that you have the running head for the first page, bring your cursor into your main document and you'll prepare the title page. Make sure your cursor is in the top left corner of your first page, not in the header. Right here, make sure it's there and press enter five times and then center your cursor. One, two, three, four, Five. Now to center the cursor, you can do two things. You can press Control E, which will bring your cursor to the center of the page. That is one way of doing it. The other way of doing it in OpenOffice is to, of course, go up here and click on this button. Same effect. Once you have it centered, you type the title of your paper, making sure that you capitalize the more important words. So your title is in there. Press enter once and type your name. Do not use any titles, uh, either doctor, mister, PhD, etc just your name. Press enter once again and write the name of the university or the institution where you for whom you're creating this paper. So that's it for the title page um, as required by the APA style. Now your instructor may ask you to uh, enter your the date or so, some such other thing and if that is the case well you would this is something you would uh, you would do now what you have here is the first page of APA style title page with the running head which has the words running head in it in the header and the title, the short title of your work. We will add a page now and you will see that the word running head and the title will not be in the header. So I, by, to add a page I will press Control Enter to add a page. Now the style of this page is not APA style running head first page anymore. It's APA style running head subsequent page. You will recall that we created that style and we told the when we created the APA style running head first page we said that the next style we wanted was APA style running head subsequent page. This is what this second page is and that is why there is nothing in the uh, header right now. What you will do is write in, in capital letters, of course, the short title in all caps, as you did the same short title you used in the first page, but without the words running head. And as you did in the first page, you will tab twice if need be, but again, Make sure that you bring your right tab, you bring it over way to the right so that your page number will be completely to the right. Then now you see your cursor flashing here. You insert the page number by clicking insert fields page number and now you have page two. Now you see your cursor now 
is still in the center position because that is what you had used for your title. To continue with your document, you would not want it in the center position, so therefore you would choose to align it left. You can either use the button, or as you see, you can also use Control L to bring it to the left margin. So now you have the APA style running head, first page, title page, and you have a second page with the running head that will appear in the rest of the pages. So if you have your cursor running here and now you press Control Enter to add a page, you should have this. In other words, your short title in all caps and your page number, which is page three now. You can now save this either as a document and then you reuse it, or you can save it as a template. So you could go to File, Save As, and uh, I will save it to my desktop, and instead of saving it as a document, I will save it as a template. ODF Text Document Template. This is the type I will choose, and I will just call it APA style and save it. So now you have an APA style template which has Times New Roman 12. It is double spaced. You have your one inch margins all around and you have the running head page styles. Let's close this down now. And you see that I have saved it. This is what the it looks APA style dot OTT. So if I want to start an APA style document, all I would do is double click on this document. It will open up open office. And there you have it. You have now your pages to start your document. All you have to do is change the titles and every Bob's your uncle. So there you go. Good luck with your paper.